Hello, my name is Hayley Brown and today I'm going to show you how to plant up three crops in hanging baskets. We're going to be planting up strawberries, herbs and tomatoes. From one hanging basket and three plants, we can get roughly 50 strawberries. Now we've chosen three types of strawberries. So there's a early fruiting, a mid fruiting and a late fruiting. And by having one of each, it means that we're going to be picking lovely strawberries all the way through till summer. So this hanging basket is already lined with some plastic here, which is going to be great for holding in that moisture. However, we're going to need to put some drainage in it. So we're going to add some stones first. Next, I'm going to fill this up with some peat-free multi-purpose compost and I'm going to add in some slow-release fertiliser. Strawberry plants are quite hungry and we want a bumper harvest, so we need to be feeding them throughout the summer. I've angled the strawberries so they're going to cascade over the edge of the hanging basket and that means they're going to be protected from any slugs. We've washed off the sediment off of these stones and we're going to place them on top and that's going to lock in all of the moisture. Now, if you haven't got any stones to hand, you can always use some wood chips or even some straw. The only pest that you're going to have a problem with is birds eating your beautiful strawberries. Now, one way to deter them is by hanging a CD with some twine and that's going to prevent them from approaching your strawberries. Next, we're going to be planting herbs in a hanging basket. This hanging basket has actually got a built-in reservoir to it. However, if you can't get hold of one of these, you can grab a little saucer and pop it in the bottom, and that's going to trap all of the water and feed your plants. So first, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a slit. So we're going to make a cross in each one of these holes, and that's going to allow us to pop our herbs through. Now that I've cut the holes in the coir, I'm going to pop some multi-purpose compost into the bottom. So I'm just going to do this up to the first line of the holes and then we're going to get our plants in there. I'm also going to be adding in some slow release fertiliser and what that's going to do is it's going to feed your plants all throughout the summer. If you're struggling to get the foliage through the holes, then you can grab a piece of pipe that's the same diameter as your holes. Or if you don't have that, you can grab some newspaper and you can wrap that around the leaves and then when you pop it through, you won't damage any of them. And now we've got all of the plants in there, we're gonna fill this right up to the top with the multi-purpose compost. And then we're also gonna add in the slow release fertilizer and plant a lavender in the pot, which is going to smell beautiful. Not only does lavender look and smell great, but it's also edible. So you can use the flowers as a herb in baking. The great thing about a herb hanging basket is it's so accessible. So you can have this by the back door of your kitchen or you can have it in the patio of your garden and pick herbs straight for dinner. The last hanging basket that we're going to plant up is with tomatoes. So this variety is called Tumbling Tom and it's going to do exactly what it says on the label. It's going to tumble over the edge of your hanging basket. Now this is a cherry variety, which means that the fruits aren't going to be too heavy, so you won't need to support them at all. These tomatoes will be absolutely perfect for adding to your salads. Now we're doing this in the greenhouse today because actually tomatoes cannot get any frost. So we're going to plant them up, we're going to leave it in here, and then as soon as the last frost has passed, in around May time, we're going to get them outside. We're going to plant these up exactly the same way as I did with the strawberries. So we're going to put a layer of gravel, multi-purpose compost and slow release feed. If you don't have a greenhouse, you can plant these up indoors. However, if you didn't want to do that, you can always wait until May and do it when the last frost has passed. Tomatoes have the amazing ability to grow roots from their stem. So if you plant these too deep, it's not a problem. It's actually gonna make your tomato plant stronger. If you didn't want to use a slow release fertilizer, you can always use something like a well rotted manure. Alternatively, you could feed them with a liquid fertilizer. All you need to do to keep these in tip-top condition is give them a good water every other day. These hanging baskets are perfect whether you've got a big allotment like mine or a small balcony on a flat. You can be harvesting your own fruit and vegetables. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe to our channel.